What's up, ladies and germs? This morning we are going to cover FizzBuzz. It is a fairly common interview question, or maybe not so common. I don't know. Honestly, in the dozens of interviews I've been in, I've only gotten it like twice. Um, but it's at least stereotypically common, uh, and maybe I'm just an anomaly. Maybe it's everyone else is getting it all the time. But regardless, uh, it is a pretty classic interview question where you're going to be asked to write a function that will return the numbers 1 through 100, but instead of the number, it will replace multiples of 3 with fizz, multiples of 5 with buzz, and multiples of 3 and 5 with fizz buzz. Uh, and if, if uh, the number is not a multiple of any of those, then it will just output the number. Um, so lots of people think that this is a bogus interview question. Uh, whether or not you agree with that, either way, you're going to know how to solve it now. So um, we're actually going to solve it with a loop, and we're also going to solve it with recursion. So today we're going to solve it with a loop, just a simple old for loop, trusty for loop, and tomorrow we will solve it with recursion. All right, so let's just dive right in here. We want to be able to call fizzbuzz right here, and it work. All right, so um, let's start off with a trusty for loop um, because we're going to solve it with a loop today. So for let i, we'll start at one since we we know where we want to start. Um, if you ever get this question where you need to, where it's kind of like between. Uh, floor and ceiling, just like a range, and it's not necessarily 100, then you might write this a little bit differently, but the gist of it is going to remain the same. Um, you just might, you might need to accept some uh, parameters in your function, and instead of starting at 1 and ending at 100, you start at uh, x and end at y. All right, but instead, we know where, we, where we're going. We've been given the task of 1 to 100, and this is actually like the classic question is to ask 1 to 100. Um, but if you get a company that decides they want to take an already odd question and make it even uh, more odd, then, you know, Godspeed. So uh, let i equals 1. Um, and we want this to run while i is less than 101. And we'll increment i on every pass. All right. Um, and this is where the magic happens. So first off, um, we can just console log i. And you can see that the for loop run. So there we go. We got the numbers 1 through 100 printing out there. Um, now we just need to do our rules here. So first off, we um, we want to do uh, multiples of 3. So let's say if uh, i modulus 3 equals 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 0, then we want to console log um, viz. Okay. And actually, I, like, well, actually, no, we can't do the ha. Never mind, forget that. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen this before, this is just the modulo operator, modulus operator. Um, all this is is dividing i by three, but the result instead of the, um, what's it called? What's, what's the thing? Is it called the quotient or something? I don't know, whatever. Instead of the result of the division, it's actually going to give you the remainder um, of it. So if that remainder is zero, then we know that this divides evenly by three, so it's a multiple of three. So we'll console log fizz. Um, if it's uh, five, then we'll console log buzz, right? So same logic here. All right. And um, we'll do an else here. Okay. Now let's see. Gotta make it look pretty. Here we go. All right, so cool, cool. Now if we go up to, um, let's see, we know that 15 is a multiple of both three and five. Um, so we actually want to see fizz buzz here. And uh, we could very well come right here and say if um, i is you know, three, zero, and i, five, zero, console.log is buzz, but this will not work because what's going to happen is, uh, even if I run this, see, uh, we actually have a syntax error and that's because JC is an idiot. There we go. All right, so um, we're actually still going to see 15 here. I'm, I'm sorry, we're still going to see fizz in the place of 15. And that's because in this uh, conditional, 
this is the first true statement. And so we're just never making it down here, right? Um, so we actually want this guy at the very top. Okay, and we'll just make this an else if. And now it will check this first before going to these. So now if we run again, say let's scroll down, let's run again. And now if we go back to 15 here, we have FizzBuzz. So there you have it, that is FizzBuzz. Um, it's honestly not that hard once you understand um, what you're doing here, but uh, it's it's actually pretty basic programming when it, when it comes down to it. You just, you're looping through some stuff um, and you've got some conditionals and, and that's it. Uh, so tomorrow we will solve it with recursion, which is if you wanna take an, an already odd uh, interview question and, and kind of one up them and and go the extra mile and solve it with uh, with a more complex uh, method than um, I don't know I don't know if that's impressive or not is it is it that impressive I don't know who cares you'll know how to do it either way all right see you tomorrow.